let's take this vlog as my first official welcome back to the vlogging scene i'm starting my three day no sugar challenge and i'm excited to bring you guys along with me for this week's edition <laughs> So one of the major updates that I made to my healthy eating lifestyle was to take out three days every week and go on a no sugar diet and, and eat meals that have no sugar in them whatsoever. And I'm about to start this week's edition and I just thought to bring you guys along with me just to share with you all my no sugar meals experience. So if you're interested, join me. Let's do this together. Going on a no sugar challenge has a lot of benefits from helping you lower your blood pressure to lowering your blood sugar levels, gives you really fresh skin, helps with your mental health, helps you stay active and alert, helps you lose weight. <laughs> it was simply my way of controlling the amount of sugar that goes into my body. You guys know that sugar is not so great for the body. breakfast all done this this so good Dinner today is going to be a simple cabbage soup. I had initially wanted to make a usual pepper soup that we make in Nigeria, but I thought to myself, why not Why not use this opportunity to add lots of veggies into the soup? And so I decided to make a cabbage soup. It's pretty much like pepper soup, but this time I'm going to be adding a lot of veggies into it. So I'm just sauteing some onions and, and some carrots here. I'm adding some garlic, a little bit of tomato paste for some color and taste and flavor. 
I just saute that for about four to five minutes on medium heat here I'm adding just a little bit of vegetable broth. then I'm also adding some chicken pieces and seasoning with some seasoning cube powder salt curry powder thyme and the whole works and then I bring this to a boil for about um, five to eight minutes the longer it boils the more intensified the flavor would be afterwards I'm just adding the shredded cabbage mix everything together again I I allowed that to simmer for about five to six minutes. Then I added the diced bell peppers, stirred it all together and turned off the heat immediately. This tasted absolutely divine, guys. Divine is the word. <laughs> So if you're the kind of person who is addicted to sugar, then you definitely should join me on this challenge and um, see if you can cut down on your sugar excesses because sugar is doing you more harm than good. Okay, if you are a diabetic, if you've been diagnosed with high sugar levels, or perhaps you just want to generally just live and maintain a healthy lifestyle, you don't have to be diagnosed with anything for you to live a healthy lifestyle, then you definitely should try and cut down on the amount of sugar that you eat. Welcome to day two of my three day no sugar diet. No, my three day weekly no sugar diet. Day one was a super success. Um, right now, I actually feel very rejuvenated. I feel alive. I feel fulfilled. I think that's the word because I'm someone with some, some sort of a sweet tooth, not excessively, but sometimes I really like to just binge eat on all of those sweet, yummy things and so to actually go a day without any processed foods and all of those stuff is kind of fulfilling and rewarding so i feel rejuvenated i feel fulfilled i feel mentally strong physically strong i'm definitely ready to kick start day two So on my three day weekly no sugar diets, what I pretty much do is for three days during that week, I focus solely on eating whole foods and I eliminate every form of processed foods or refined foods from my diet. And then of course, there's the natural sugars as well, which we get from fruits. During these three days, there's certain types of fruits that I cannot eat because we know some fruits actually contain a lot of sugars in them. I focus on eating fruits that actually have low 
sugar content in them fruits like berries strawberries blueberries kiwi plum apple if i will take a banana it's just going to be a tiny little bit i can take watermelon as well so i'm pretty much just focused on eating whole foods like vegetables whole grains like quinoa oats of course lots of tea when you're on a no sugar diet it's important highly important that you take loads and loads of water i usually will take three liters of water every day so when you are on a no sugar diet you're pretty much cutting down on pastries junk food processed foods refined foods refined sugars ice creams and wines alcohol all of those things that have sugar in them and you're focusing on eating just whole foods and even with the whole foods you are also being mindful of the sugar content in the foods that you're eating because some whole foods have lots of sugar in them as well some tips that can help you get started on your no sugar diet journey if you're interested in it, it would be for you to definitely take it slow you don't have to uh, make it a three day in a week thing for you it can just be one day in a week for you it can just be just um, one meal per day or one meal per week just take it slow and cut things down as slowly as you can and then um, use um, substitutes so instead of using artificial sugars or honey you can use fruits to sweeten things like your oats, your smoothies, your cereals. Just use fruits as your sugars. And then something else would be to actually train your taste buds to not like very sugary substance. Cut down on the amount of pastries that you eat. You take three donuts per week. Try to take one. Plan your meals. This video will give you some of the meal ideas um, that you can inculcate into your healthy recipes. So plan your meals per time. After planning your meals, of course, go shopping, buy all the things that you need. And one other major thing that I would also add would be don't stock up your pantry or your fridge with sugary items. You will most likely indulge in a processed food if it's in your fridge or if it's in your pantry. But if it's not there, you will not stick it, eat it. Rather stock up your fridge with veggies, fruits, um, whole grains like snacks healthy snacks and nuts and seeds and all of those things and it will definitely help you on your journey as well but all in all i think it's actually very rewarding to go on a no sugar diet <music>
It's about 7.27 p.m. now and I haven't gotten home yet. So what I'm going to do right now is just stop by a restaurant and just buy myself um, dinner because I ain't going to go into the kitchen to cook nothing. <laughs> so let's just quickly buy dinner and then I'll show you guys what I'm having for dinner tonight. It's still my three days, no sugar challenge and I'm on a roll. Today was a busy, busy day but I'm excited that I was able to do everything I wanted to do. Now it's time to buy dinner and head back home. day four i'm done with this week's edition of my three day no sugar challenge it's been so rewarding i feel so excited guys i feel very light rejuvenated very like i know that something literally happens in my body doing this consistently is actually starting to look like it's going to become like a lifestyle like this would be the way i eat my food and my taste boards are actually starting to get adjusted to not liking sugar. I don't think I'll just go back quickly to eating sugar. So it's actually something that I would advise that anyone who's looking to live healthy, just I think you should actually start doing it. Just in case you are looking to start your healthy eating journey and you do not know where to begin, you can start by joining this month's edition of our seven day monthly detox cleanse. Um, this month's edition actually starts on Saturday the 25th when you sign up to become a part of us what you'll have is exclusive access to a healthy meal plan that contains over 25 healthy recipes breakfast lunch dinner and snack recipes and then all of the ingredients used to, to make the recipes are very affordable and easy to source as well you'd also have access to a comprehensive shopping list you have access to follow along exercise videos that you perform during the seven days you would join our exclusive membership group so that you can have the right support from um, the group and then of course you would also have access to a, a comprehensive detox guide and a comprehensive journaling guide as well the package is actually really full and it's just going for 3999 naira that's 3999 pretty pretty affordable for anyone who wants to join just click the link in the description box down below if you want to sign up or you can send us an email to detoxwithweenie at gmail.com we're starting this saturday and i would definitely advise that you begin your journey from there it's actually something that is very rewarding i've been doing it for so many years I've seen the result and impact in my life. I have not fluctuated in weight. People ask me, Winifred, how are you able to maintain a healthy weight? You don't add weight. You don't. And I'm like, that's my secret, literally. I go on this detox cleanse every month. Pay very serious attention to your health. It's important that you pay attention to your health and be very mindful of what you're putting in your body. Anyways, guys, this is where I'm going to be ending this vlog. I hope to see you again in my next one. Until then, take care, guys. Bye.